Well, today we're going to have a look at the pronunciation of ED. But before we do that, let's just, you know, talk a bit. So, um, what kind of music do you like? Uh, rap. Uh, rock. Yes, I like rock music. Okay. Uh, what uh, band or artist? Band. Un groupe de musique. Ah, uh, Rolling Stone. Damn, all right. How old are they? I don't know, uh, the Rolling Stone. Yes, all right, I know. I was just asking their age, leur âge. I don't know, but the Rolling Stone, it's a good uh, burn rod. You, you mean rock band? Yes, uh, burn red. Rock band. Rock band. Bud? All right, whatever you say. Mm. All right, so the pronunciation of ED. If a word ends with a D or a T, ED is pronounced id. So like decided or started. When the word finishes with an S, SH, a K or a P, ED is pronounced T. For example, passed and finished, worked and stepped. Finally, for everything else, ED is pronounced D. So closed, unemployed, etc. Mais uh, pourquoi closed? On dit pas uh, closed. C'est-à-dire? Bah closed, ça a fini par un s. Du coup, pourquoi ça se prononce pas t? Ok, j'aurais dû préciser qu'avec un son s, euh, le ed prend une sonorité t. Avec closed, le s a une sonorité z. D'accord. Plus, you have to be careful because we don't have that many rules of pronunciation in English. So you're going to have to learn this by heart. By quoi? By heart, par cœur. Mais qu'est-ce qu'on doit apprendre par cœur? Ce qu'on vient de voir, là. C'est-à-dire? La prononciation du ED. Mais pourquoi? Ok, tu fais exprès ou quoi, là? Ah non, mais là, je, je suis désolé, mais là, je comprends plus rien. Là. Il faut apprendre la prononciation du ED par cœur parce qu'on a peu de règles de prononciation en anglais et que c'est une des plus importantes. Ok, donc si je te dis euh, compter, comment est-ce que tu dis ça au passé I counted. Counted. Ouais, c'est ce que je viens de dire. Non, toi t'as dit counted. Moi j'ai dit counted. Ah bah ben là, je vois toujours pas la différence. Hein. Alright, you will review this at home. Let's just talk a bit because you're getting on my nerves. Ok, Now, what... I'll ask the questions. Do you ever go to casino I buy food. You buy food at casino? Ah yes. Casino, intermarché, uh, supermarket. Oh no 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 no. Um, casinos, you know, like uh, uh, cash machines, uh, blackjack, poker, kachung. Ah, yeah, I like poker. All right. Do you play with your friends or at an establishment? Ah uh, no no, uh, I never bet at game. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, why? Bet bet bet. Now, why do you never bet at games? Vous m'avez demandé les trois formes du verbe parier Non, je t'ai demandé si tu jouais avec tes amis ou au casino. Ah, non, non, non. Euh, I just play uh, with friends. Ah, yes, the poker table, smoking with your friends. Ah, yes, uh, bacanist. The what The bacanist. You, you mean tobacconist, the, the place you buy cigarettes Yes, bacanist. Okay, you're either dumb or deaf, but in both cases, you're getting on my nerves. Ah oui, d'ailleurs, le verbe fumer, smoke, c'est au passé, c'est smoked. Smoked. Je crois qu'il va falloir qu'on le revoie là. Yeah, no kidding. 